Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a plan with me for you guys, but in addition to that, I wanted to do a mini haul for Planner Just For You, which is the shop that I've partnered with to create um, stickers from my writing. And it's been a while since I've been able to show some stickers from our shop and I've gotten a ton of new releases in. And I definitely wanted to share this with you guys before jumping into the plan with me. I just don't know if I can film like separate haul videos right now. As I'm so behind already. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what we have available in the shop right now. All right, I zoomed it in so you guys can hopefully see a little bit better. We've got a sheet of these meal prep stickers, uh, family time, day off, lunch date, brunch date, which I'm going to be using soon because I went to brunch a couple weeks ago. Um, we've got school, happy birthday and tidy up. So these ones are now released on a clear paper, um, which is perfect if you guys want to put it like over another icon or anything like that. And that would work really nicely. And in other exciting news, um, Sophie has started to play around with foiling. And so she was able to create some foiled stickers in my writing. I think this sheet is the only one that is foiled right now that you can purchase, but she's looking to expand that possibly in the future. Um, she did include this little foiled freebie for me. The foiling looks really nice. It's in this perfect light gold that I love. It's my favorite foiling. And then the current sheet that we have available foiled is this quote box. I'm going to show you the black text first so you can kind of see it better. Um, I decided to create some of these like quote stickers because sometimes um, there are kits that don't have a quote box and I usually like to have one for my sidebar. If you guys have been watching my planning, you guys probably know that by now. So when that happens, I usually like to write in a quote on one of the boxes. Um, so yeah, I decided to create a sheet of these like spring themed quotes. Um, this one says, you are capable of amazing things. With brave wings, she flies. Bloom where you are planted. Let all you do be done in love. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle and the best is yet to come. Okay, I guess only one of them is like spring themed, but um, yeah, you can really use these any time of the year. Um, so we have these in the regular black and then the really pretty light gold foil. We've got it in silver and rose gold. And then this one is, I think it's like a, not a hollow, but um, like a shattered, is it shattered hollow oh my gosh I do not know my foil names because I usually just stick to the basic three but this one is also really really pretty okay then moving on to some of our other new releases um, these all come in the regular like matte white paper as well as clear paper so you do have a choice for whatever type of paper works best for your planning style so we've got these um film edit record and upload stickers perfect for any youtubers out there and um, we decided to create these little like plan with me monthly haul stickers so you can um attach that to the script depending on what you're working on again it comes in the white and the clear we've got the happy mail stickers we have a sheet of morning coffee here. We've got these sleep early stickers and we actually have a whole series for sleeping. So we got sleep early, sleep late, and then sleep in, depending on what kind of day you're having. We have the wake up early, nap time, lazy day, wine o'clock, which, oh my gosh, I really love how this turned out. And then also beer time, my favorite. Um, so yeah, these are the new lettering stickers that we have. And then in addition to all of these stickers, Sophie had created some icons that go along with the scripts that we've released. And I really love her design style. It's very simple and clean and um, comes in this really nice like pastel colorway. So I really appreciate that. Um, this is the little freebie I think that she's including right now. We've got a sheet of these like exercise size workout attire stickers so cute we've got some coffee stickers these alarm clock ones um, this shopping bag one we have one for dusting this little dustpan which is so cute we've got the vacuuming ones I love how tiny these are these are gonna fit nicely in small spaces we have this one for trash day we have this one, which is like a pencils in a cup sticker. This would be great for like tidying up or just like general housekeeping. We've got this sheet of um, laundry stickers, like a laundry basket. We've got one for folding clothes. 
little nice stack of folded clothes. Um, this one I think is dishes. So we've got a stack of like bowls. And then the last sheet here is these little spray bottle stickers. Um, these would be just perfect to mark any kind of general cleaning that you're doing. And then the last thing that I wanted to share in this like mini haul are a couple mini kits that Sophie had created. Um, she has two that she sent along. This one is like a rose gold photo themed kit and it's really pretty. It's got like rose gold stationery and this little text box that says the weekend is here. Um, the mini kits come with two pages. So it has one for the full boxes and then one with the date covers, some washi strips, a habit tracker and the bottom washi. So it's a super, super mini kit. It doesn't come with any additional boxes, but this could be really perfect for like a smaller sized planner. And then it also comes with a set of um, glitter headers and these date dots, um, some like text stickers and then a weekend banner. The last thing I'm going to be sharing is this second mini kit. It's called Snowy. And again, it has um, like a photograph theme. And this is perfect for a snowy winter, which doesn't happen where I live. But this is so pretty. It almost makes me wish I lived in the snow. Um, so we've got the sheet of full boxes. Again, the date covers, washi strips, bottom washi, and then the glitter headers and the date dots. Um, so yeah, that is everything that is new in the shop. Um, so we've got kits. We've got icons and we've got a ton of new lettering stickers which i'm so excited about these came out so much prettier than i was expecting like i don't know what sophie does but she always makes my writing look so nice um, and i can't wait to pull these in honestly there are so many new ones that um, i'm going to be able to use and um, yeah i hope you guys see something that you like and maybe want to check out if you have any questions um feel free to reach out to me or to sophie she's really good about responding on instagram she's like so on top of it um so I will leave all the information down below with the shop Instagram, the shop website. Um, so you guys can check that out. And yeah, that is it for this mini planner just for you haul. Um, with that, let's go ahead and jump into the plan with me. Okay, for this week, um, this is actually my New Year's spread that I'm doing today because Friday was New Year's Day. Um, so I'm going to be using this really pretty kit from Jackson Pepper. It's called Inhale, Exhale, and I just thought that was a perfect way to start the new year. And it's also like house themed, and this was the week that we had moved into our new house. Um, so again, I just thought this kit was so perfect to use for this specific occasion. On this page, we have the eight full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. Then the second page has some washi strips as well as the bottom washi. Um, then the next page has all the headers. We've got these ones on a plain background and then like a um, decorative background. We have all the half boxes. And then this last page has all the functional items. We've got quarter boxes, check flags, um, a few more uh, little like headers. We've got the date covers, some icons, text stickers, weekend banner, and a lazy day and day off flag here at the bottom and I didn't realize this but this kit actually kind of works nicely with my nails this week I decided to go for kind of like a spring Easter pastel color scheme and this is like my first time doing um, this type of nail where it's like all different colors and I love this so much why did it take me so long to do this um, I'm like super obsessed so anyways I was like really thrilled to see that it actually kind of matches nicely um, so yeah anyways let's go ahead and jump right in um, as usual I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi for my bottom washi this week, I actually decided to pull in some washi from my collection. This one is from a shop called GT Girls Designs, and I just felt like these colors worked pretty nicely with the kit. They are a little on the bright side since this kit is so light in color, but I feel like they were a similar shade, so I felt like it worked pretty nicely and just brought in some more color to the spread. I then moved on to the sidebar and I chose the quote box for the top corner. And for this week, um, this kit is not foiled. So I decided to pull in some silver foil because I haven't used silver in quite a while. Um, that little silver bow is from planning like a pro. And then I decided to place down all the date covers that came with the kit. Um, I use these date dots that are in my writing. They're from planner just for you. And I realized that I totally could have just written the dates in myself, but um, I did have these date dots already. So I just decided to use them. I then continue to build my sidebar, placing down my habit tracker, my checklist for my happy moments. And then at the very bottom, I pulled in this box from Planning World, and I'm going to use that to mark my dinners. 
These script headers are in my writing from Planner Just For You, and then I also pulled in a utensil icon from, I believe that one is from Paper Muse Crafts, and then the heart one that I pulled for my happy moments was part of a sampler from Chic Blossom Designs. Now I'm moving on to Monday and I first placed down a full box in the middle of the day because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then at the very top, I used a today header with a quarter box. That sleeping mask sticker is from Simply Said Life and it paired it with one of my new lettering stickers, the sleep in one. Um, and that one is on the clear background, which I felt like worked really nicely in that box. It was raining on Monday, so I pulled in this little umbrella mochi from Mochi Kichi. And then uh, for this week, I actually switched up my pen. I usually use the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens, but for this week, for some reason, I couldn't find um, the 0 0.7, which is the one I wanted to use. So instead, I pulled in this, let me see, it's a Uniball Signo. Um, I think it's in 0 0.7. Actually, it says 207 on the side. So not quite sure what that means, but that's the pen I'm using and I actually really like it. Um, and then on the half box, I cut this box sticker from Mochi Kichi as well to mark that we packed and organized that day. I then checked my happy mail. So to mark that, I used a hexagon icon. That one is from Planning World. And that sticker mailer icon is from a shop called The Sticker Jungle. I felt like that was really pretty and matched with the kit nicely. The happy mail sticker is from Planner Just For You. It's in my lettering. And originally the sticker is all one line, but it didn't really fit in that space. So I go ahead and cut it and place it down in two rows. That foiled TV icon I placed down, I believe, is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then at the very bottom, I just wanted to mark that our cat had another seizure, um, but I didn't really have a sticker I wanted to use with it, so I just went ahead and drew in some little arrows. On Tuesday, I first placed down the full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled third box that is from Planning World, and that silver foiled house icon I just placed down is from Chic Blossom Prints. I marked that Tuesday was our moving day, which was super exciting. Um, we have been looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, we spent most of the day moving. We rented a U-Haul to transport everything. And um, that sticky note is from Hazel Sticker. And the little camper, I believe, is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the half box, I used a shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that some of our friends came over to help us move. And then unfortunately in the move, we broke one of our stairs already. Um, it just honestly snapped right off like on the edge. And it was like so sad because it's literally our first day in our new house and we've already broken something. But anyways, we were able to super glue it later on. So no biggie. Um, and that sad emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. At the very bottom, I just wanted to mark having some beers. So that beer time sticker is from Planner Just For You. And then the actual beer icon is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Wednesday, I started by placing down a full box at the very bottom. Then I decided to move upwards and um, I pulled in this like half scallop sticker that's from Planning World. And I used a little things on top of that. I go ahead and place down a few more functional items. Um, and then at the very top of Wednesday, I pulled in a hexagon. Again, that's from Planning World. And on top of that, I layered this like heart eyes Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we woke up to our very first morning in our new home. Um, it definitely felt very surreal. And I don't know, it honestly just felt so comfortable from the get go, um, which was really nice. And in that little tiny space in between, I pulled in. In this little like sparkle icon that's from the pretty pink co and i use that to mark organizing the kitchen that morning on the half box that car sticker is from nicole hutch designs and then i pulled in another tv icon from the pretty pink co to mark that we had pizza and then watched this show called kingdom um, it was like a korean show and we really had no idea what it was about it just kind of seemed like a historical fiction kind of show um, but it ended up being about zombies which we completely did not anticipate um, so yeah that was kind of wild um, but anyways in that half circle icon i used another bow from planning like a pro to mark that I went over to a friend's house. A few of my friends were heading back home after the holidays. Um, so yeah, it was good to see them before they left. 
On Thursday, I first placed down a full box in the center, and then at the very top, I used a half box and a bow sticker from Hazel Sticker, along with this New Year's Eve text from Planner Just For You to mark that Thursday was New Year's Eve, and that sticker is part of a holiday sheet that Sophie and I released, so you can definitely find that in the shop. Um, then underneath that, I used a Today header with a, I think it's a flag from Planning World, and that shoe icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I went on a walk with some friends. Um, we decided to call it a hot toddy walk because one of the girls had made some hot toddy. It was actually my first time having it and it was amazing. I'm so into it. So yeah, that was a nice little way to start the last day of the year. And then under the full box, I used a to-do header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that day. Um, I did pull in a phone icon because I did some FaceTiming and I believe that's from the Pretty Pink Co. At the end of the night, we honestly didn't do much to celebrate New Year's. I think on top of COVID, we were all just a little wary to be too excited about a new year after what happened with 2020. Um, so we've definitely learned our lesson. Um, I decided to use this hexagon from Planning World and this shot glass sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we FaceTimed with one of my best friends and we ended up taking some virtual shots with her and her boyfriend. So even though we weren't able to celebrate with them in person, um, I guess at least we kind of got to party it up over FaceTime. On to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and I really love that box with a plant. Um, then underneath that, I used a header with another half circle from Planning World, and I used the Happy New Year sticker in my writing inside the half circle. Um, I really like how that turned out. I feel like that made it look really special. Um, and then underneath that, I used a silver foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I went and grabbed some boba and also some curly fries from Arby's to kick off the new year. I went to Ikea to grab some like shelving units and that little bear in a box sticker is from Olive Planner Co. And then I placed down a quarter box at the very bottom. I adjusted the sticker slightly to make a little more room. Um, and then in the empty space, I used a flag from Planning World along with a puzzle from Paper Muse Crafts to mark that I went over to a friend's house really quick to do a puzzle swap with her. And I think one of my subscribers had asked me one time um, what I do with my puzzles when I'm done with them. Usually I just take them apart and then I exchange with a friend so that we can always have new puzzles to work on without having to um, buy new ones every time. On the quarter box, I placed down that TV icon, which is from the kit. And then for Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom. Moving back to the top of Saturday, I first placed down a Today header and then used a quarter box with another sleeping mask sticker from Simply Said Life to mark that I slept in on Saturday, which is always lovely. That coffee sticker I pulled in is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and the morning coffee script is from Planner Just For You. And again, that's in my writing. I then did a ton of report writing for work because I had actually brought home um, several reports to write and of course I didn't end up doing anything until like two days before I'm going back to work because I am like the queen of procrastination. Um, and that laptop sticker I think was a freebie. I actually don't know which shop that's from. I'm so sorry. On the half box, I had placed down a flag from Planning World and that shopping bag sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I used that to mark going to Costco and Home Goods. And that night I organized my bathroom closet, which did take quite a while. And that sticker I pulled in to mark that is from Planner Just For You. For Sunday, I first placed down a full box in the center. And then at the top, I used a half box and the super dramatic girl from Paper Bear Co. to mark that it was the last day of break. It is always so hard to transition back to work after a long break. Um, but anyways, I had a ton more report writing to do that day. Um, the laptop sticker I pulled in, I think is from my spoiled planner. And then that tea sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I think it's so cute with the little mustache. Under the full box, I used a quarter box to mark that I organized my closet and also did some laundry. The laundry sticker is from Chic Blossom Prints. It came in a little sampler sheet. And then I used a flag from the kit with this like grocery icon from Art Box Stickers, which unfortunately is closed for the time being at least, um, to mark getting some groceries. At the end of the night, I just relaxed and slept early because I wanted to get ready for the week up ahead going back to work. That little sleepy icon is from Mochi Kichi and the sleep early script is in my writing and that's from Planner Just For You. 
Moving back to the sidebar, I pulled in the silver foiled workout sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I go ahead and fill in all of my happy moments and my dinners for the week. I didn't mark any workouts this week, but I just realized that I went on that walk on New Year's Day and that was a solid like four or five mile walk. So I definitely should have counted that as a workout and I'm actually going to go back into market because I definitely want some credit for that. Now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I will be including these in a leftovers giveaway as usual. And now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling. It has been so long since I've seen silver foil in my planner. It's so beautiful. I forgot how much I love it. And silver foil just always looks so clean and so like refreshing. So I feel like it was a perfect foil to start the new year. Um, anyways, now I'm just giving you guys a walkthrough so you can see the spread a little more closely and that is pretty much it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm finally in the correct year now. We've made it to 2021. Yay. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Please let me know if you have any questions and um, also let me know if you actually made any New Year's resolutions this year. I feel like most people I talked to didn't make resolutions because of how last year went um, and I was kind of the same way. I made this whole 20 in 2020 list last year of all these things I wanted to accomplish and that just, you know, went down the toilet. So, um, yeah, I didn't end up doing anything for this year. So I'm curious to know if you guys have made resolutions and how you're doing with those now that we're in April. Um, but anyways, thank you again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.